Okay, so a lot of people always wonder why I tell them to not buy a 4K monitor even if they're gonna downscale to 1440p. So a lot of people ask me that because they wanna get a 4K monitor now, downscale to 1440p until they can afford a more powerful PC. And that way they can obviously turn 4K back on and get the proper resolution of the monitor. So there's a few reasons why you shouldn't do that. And we'll first just explain what the native resolution of a monitor means. Just to give you a quick rundown on the three main resolutions that you're gonna find, and this is kind of disregarding ultra wide, etc. but the three main resolutions you'll find is full HD, which is also called 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080. That's the horizontal pixels and the vertical pixels. The next one up we have 2K, or you can call it quad HD or 1440p. That's 2560 by 1440, that's horizontal, vertical. And the last one, disregarding 8K, is 4K resolution. So that's 3840 by 2160, and sometimes we call this Ultra HD. So 4K, Ultra HD, 2160p, which no one really says, all of those three things are 4K, it's the same thing. Basically, if you take a monitor like this, the Gigabyte Aorus F43V, this is a 4K resolution monitor, it's a 43 inch. Now, the, the native resolution of this monitor is 3840 by 2160. That's how many pixels horizontally and vertically that this has. So what happens is if you go to 1080p, these pixels essentially enlarge. So instead of having a little light on each individual pixel showing a picture, you have a little light across four pixels and that gives you 1080p, which is 1920 by 1080 resolution. So the easiest way to explain it, and I've got three calculators up here, is if you take, for example, 1920 by 1080, multiply that, that's how many pixels a 1080p monitor has. Now, if you go over here, we've got the 4K, we've got 3840 by 2160, that's how many pixels a 4K monitor has. So if you take this number, 8.3 million near enough, and you divide that by 2073600, zero, which you can see just here, this is the how many pixels that are in a 1080p monitor. If you press enter and you divide that, you get an even number, you get four. Now, if you take the same number, that's 4K pixels, and if you just look at 1440p resolution for a second, which is 2560 by 1440, that's how many pixels are in a 1440p monitor. So you'll notice that it's not quite exactly half of this, it's not double what this is. So if you take this number, 4K pixels, which is how many pixels are on this monitor right now, and you divide that by 3, 6, 8, 6, 400, which is the number of pixels in a 1440p monitor. If you press enter on that, you get 2.25. So you'll notice that it's not a round whole number. So what happens is when you get a 4K monitor and you try to uh, display 1440p resolution, you start splitting the pixels. So instead of having an even number, for example, four pixels instead of one pixel at a time, we're getting 2.25 pixels covered up. It doesn't create a nice even picture and you'll find that at random points on the screen, it looks a little bit more blurry than it should. So generally you'll find that the best bet is to get a 1440p monitor now, if you wanna play 1440p. Don't get a 4K in downscale because it doesn't look great. You can get a 4K and downscale to 1080p, which is really useful for you guys that just wanna use your TV, which is a 4K TV, but you wanna play games from a PC, but you don't wanna spend quite, you know, four or five grand to get a 4K gaming PC. So the recommendation is get a monitor where you're gonna be able to use the native resolution, which is the maximum resolution that that monitor will display. Stick with that. You can easily sell monitors later on. So if you wanna get a 1440p monitor now and then sell it later and get a 4K, that's a much better option.